So although we've got nothing on the inside and everything's on the outside, selecting this entire window is a little harder from over here because we might select things that are on the back side of the house. So I find it much easier to go to the inside of the house and pointing outwards, make a selection of everything that is the window. So as we go to the outside, you can see that just the window is selected. Now we want to have several of these, so we're going to group these, but we're going to do a special kind of group called a component. This is a kind of component that when we change one, it changes all of the copies. So let's just call this one the window and create. Now this is a group, so you can select individual parts of the house, but you can also select the entire window at once. Let's go ahead and make some copies of these. So the first kind of copy is using the Move tool and holding down Control. So if I just try and move it, it'll move it. If I hold down Control, it moves a copy. And I'm just going to move it along the green axis so that it's exactly lined up. When I let go, that copy is there. Now, I want it to be on this wall, so it needs to be rotated. The Rotate tool works like this. Choosing the Rotate tool, you get something that looks like a protractor. You put that on one of the faces that you want to rotate. So I'm going to click on this face once, let go, and now we're going to create a handle. So the handle can go in just about any direction, but it's nice for it to be in a standard direction, like right there on the red axis, and then you can see how it would be rotated. Now that is not the way we want to rotate the window. So sometimes you have to figure out exactly which surface do I want to click on in order to make a good rotation. So here we go. And now, yes, I can rotate it 90 degrees. So it locks right there on the green axis. And now I know that it's perfectly aligned with that wall. Now I can use my Move tool and I can move it over there. Now I don't like moving anything with a black dotted line. I like to do it in several steps. So I'm going to move it along the red axis first, let go, and then move it on the green axis so I can get it attached to the wall. Now, in order to get it attached to the wall, we don't want to push it in too far, but we do want it to go and make sure it's on the wall. Now that I can look at it, I can decide if I want to move it maybe a little bit further over, a little bit further up, and now we have a window on this side. Let me use Control Move again, and I'll do it on the red axis so this wall can have two windows that are lined up perfectly. Now if I want one on this side, I could move it and rotate it again, but I'll show you an even easier way. I'm going to take this window, go to the Move tool, and hold down Control and move it on the red axis straight through the building to the other side. Now I just need to flip it around, and there is actually a flip. So right-clicking on the window allows me to flip around different uh, uh, axes here. So the one that we want is the blue axis, the vertical, and when we look at it again, we can see that the window panes are on the outside of the house. So let's just move that over on the red axis a little bit more until it's just sealing into the house. We don't want a big gap there. We don't want it to be too deep either. 